Hello, my very most beautiful Cancers. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your last week of June weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Cancers, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Cancers energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We've got the Two of Pentacles here. And the Seven of Swords. I feel like some of you guys are trying to decide if you can trust somebody or a situation. I do feel like there's something that could be coming up or being brought to your attention that is, is causing you to question some things here with this energy when it comes to, a, like I said, either a situation or a person. The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could be acting differently okay that's just kind of what this is feeling like to me i do feel like there has been some kind of shift or change within a person and it, you're not trusting it here okay you're not trusting it here somebody is um switching up in their energy the four swords four oh my goodness if i can just talk right the four swords so somebody here could be not communicating as much somebody could be communicating differently so maybe that's like taking longer for them to text you back longer in between texts or you know maybe they're just stop texting or maybe they're changing the way that they text like the things that they say the way that they communicate there's something up okay and the four of swords i do feel like is that but i also feel like it's acknowledging the fact that you're really trusting your intuition you're really looking within and and feeling the switch you can feel the energetic difference here okay there's definitely been some kind of change up from somebody that you're dealing with and you don't trust that i feel like you're trying to figure out what the cause of it is what's going on some of you guys even some of you guys are haven't said anything but others of you yeah others of you are I don't want to put it. I feel like you have said something to the, the person about it and you're not trusting the response that you're getting. You're not you're not believing. So if they're saying, oh, well, it's just because I'm busy or I have this going on or this, you're not, you're not trusting it. So I feel like this this definite energy of trying to figure out if you can trust somebody or really what's going on here. The Ten of Swords, some of you guys are assuming the worst and anticipating or, you know, that's a good word, anticipating some kind of betrayal here okay or are worried about some kind of betrayal here and that doesn't have to look like cheating but it to a sword you're trying to figure it out um but it does look like you feel like somebody's not being honest with you so let's take a look at their energy yeah even you got the high priestess at the bottom so you're definitely thinking someone's keeping secrets you're definitely not fully trusting somebody here Show me the person that Cancer is dealing with. What's their energy towards Cancer? So they are the hangman. The ten of swords. They could be somebody could be changing their mind here. And the King of Wands. So I'm getting a couple different messages. We're going to we're going to pull more cards and keep going, but it does kind of feel to me that somebody could be changing their mind about what they want when it comes to you and this connection. Um, and for some of you, it could be because of something that had ended in the past. Um like a past relationship, a past connection or something of that nature. That's kind of what this is feeling like. So something may not be as over you know, or they may be thinking about going back to something that's already ended, something like that here. And obviously that's not going to be for everybody, for others of you, or that's not the case. Um, it does kind of feel like somebody is changing their mind about what they want, and they're trying to figure out what action to take here. The Nine of Swords. I do feel like they are really in their head about the situation. That's probably why, especially for those of you that they are going back to a past connection. Um, 
either way, I feel like this person's having a difficult time just being honest about their feelings. And whether that's because they, they don't have the courage or whether it's because they don't want to hurt you or a combination, it, it, it seems to be that they are just kind of pulling back their energy as opposed to facing the situation head on. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, trying to figure out what the best option is. Now, for others of you, it also kind of could resonate the fact that I feel like with the Seven of Cups showing up and the Nine of Swords, I do feel like this person is afraid of making the wrong decision. So I do feel like this person could want to kind of be keep, I don't want to put it, trying to keep you on the back burner. Okay, some of you guys, they could be trying to hold on to you while they figure this out, while they make this decision, while they make this decision, um, in case it doesn't kind of go the way that they want it to. So let's go ahead and take a look. We are going to take a look at, now that we got the general verse energy, yeah, see, there is definitely a decision that needs to be made. There's three twos here. So I do feel like you feel this. They definitely have a decision to make. I feel like you do too because you're, you're definitely, you're, your intuition is right on point. Okay, the high priest is one representing your intuition, two representing the fact that I do feel like there are secrets and you know it. So we're going to grab another deck. We are going to take a look at this person's true intentions and actions so show me this person's true intentions when it comes to cancer what are their true intentions the ten of the five of swords so they're very conflicted back and forth this could be a little bit of looking back at the past as well and the high priestess so they there definitely are secrets your intuition is right on point about them they are definitely withholding stuff from you um and it could be a little bit manipulative with this energy. And it's definitely them trying to get away with something as well. The Five of Swords can be getting what they want by any means. So they are trying to kind of get away with something here. There's definitely secrets. Your intuition is completely right. You feel like you can't trust them. And I don't think that you can. Um, I really don't. They, don't. they don't have good intentions here. That's too many. What actions is this person going to be taking when it comes to cancer? The Temperance. The Nine of Swords. So right now they're trying to keep the peace. They're trying to um, keep things in balance, keep the peace while they figure something out. Especially the Temperance can be a card of patience. So I do, I really do feel like this person is kind of leading you on or breadcrumbing you or, you know, not wanting to just be honest with you about whatever's going on. Whether it's, but whether it's the fact that they're having doubts about the connection, they're not sure what they want. So while they figure it out, they kind of are breadcrumbing you. Um, or whether it's that they're entertaining some, thinking about entertaining something else or something from the past, and that's why. But they kind of want to keep you on the back burner, and I feel like that's not fair to you. Um, so, what is the biggest challenge in this situation for Cancer right now? The Ace of Cups. It could be a very emotional situation because I do feel like you have feelings for this person. And the seven of swords but now you can't trust it now you don't trust it um, and I do feel like it could be um, you know a little bit difficult a little bit painful to deal with what doesn't cancer see coming you got the nine of cups and we have the shadow side which in this deck is the devil so I do feel like these are kind of unrelated. I, I do feel like there is some kind of, it's almost like there is some kind of blessing in disguise through the situation. Um, I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like for you guys. It is a general reading, but I do feel like um, by this truth coming out and by you figuring this out, there is going to be some kind of blessing that takes this situation's place. Um, it's one of these like blessing in disguise type of an energies. Um, but the shadow side here with the devil showing up here, I feel like you're starting to see um, through somebody. You're starting to see somebody's true colors. And, you know, that really sucks. So let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Cancer. The Two of Swords. I feel like this is asking you to look within because you are, Cancers, your intuition is on point in this situation. You feel like you can't trust them. You feel like something's going on and you're absolutely right. Okay, you're absolutely right. I definitely feel like this person is trying to make some kind of decision, whether that's, you know, whether to stay or whether to go or between you or somebody else. Either way, they are not, 
Um, they're not facing the situation head on. They're not being honest with you and they're kind of keeping you on the back burner here. And I feel like intuitively you already knew that something like this was going on. And I feel like this is just a confirmation reading for those of you that this is resonating for. Um, and I do, like I said, I feel like the universe, sometimes it comes in and removes people that just aren't meant to be there. It shows us who they really are. And then I do feel like there is some kind of wish fulfillment or blessing coming in for you, um, in this situation's place. So this is kind of what I have for you guys this week. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus will actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.